Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. I'm a huge lover of indie brands. And so when I discovered Dreamhouse Cosmetics, which is a UK indie brand, I got super excited. Um, so this is the outer packaging. It's a small UK indie brand, vegan and cruelty free. And then on the inside of the box, you've got this beautiful design, which I, I really appreciate the small touches. And then you get this thank you note, and there is a personalized message on the back, thanking, thanking you or thanking me. Um, I love that personal touches and then we've got this beautiful purple paper with the thank you sticker and when we open that up we have the palette and she has sat on some shredded purple paper i don't know why that was so difficult for me to say um so yeah i really appreciate the all the small details the personal touch and then the palette comes in this box which is the same design as on the palette i absolutely love this outer packaging so all of this kind of sparkly is raised and then the the words the letters are set back slightly and i just think it is beautiful such such a, a visually beautiful palette um, and then when you open her up, um, on the top there, it says, sometimes we need fantasy to survive the reality. Preach into the choir. Totally. And this is the colour story. You've got some neutrals in there for if you want to do a neutral look. I am attempting to enjoy neutrals. We will see. It's an ongoing journey. So there are four mats. That's the blue one here, this brown, another brown, and then this purple. The rest are shimmers. Um, I do have to say, this violet sky looks shifty. So, super excited. So, yes. I have primed my eyes with the P. Louise base in Rumor 02. And we're going to get started. So, I'm going to start by taking Enchanted. And I am going to take that on a Made by Mitchell ME1. Let me just make sure I've patted down my eye primer. I don't want any creases. And then let's give her a go. So yeah, this palette launched in September. And I believe it is the only product that the brand has out at the moment so very new indie brand um loving that it's vegan and cruelty free it's a very pretty purple i wanted to go in with the purple first just because i wanted to see how it performed because as you know purples are notoriously difficult to formulate so that they're not patchy um so yeah, so far, so good. So the owner of the brand is Seema. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, and she is a wife and a full-time working mother of three young children. And she created the brand um, to fulfill her hopes and dreams, but also to inspire other parents to chase their dreams and basically just to despite all of life's challenges just to go for it and I really love that I really love that okay. I have done all my base all of that will be listed in the description box below if you're wanting to check that out but yeah so the brand's biggest mission, or Seema's biggest mission, is to create fun and high quality cosmetic products. And this purple is absolutely stunning. I've been getting out of bed these past few days. Think it's fair to be proud about it. I'm really kind of 
blowing it out and blending it out with itself um, and it's doing a fantastic job look at that that's beautiful so when I was on the website I did read the about us part I do love to read those bits to find out a bit more about the brand and it ended with never stop dreaming which I just think is such a brilliant message to put out to people because I think it's true we shouldn't ever stop dreaming I mean no matter what life throws at us we've just got to keep our dreams alive yeah I love that anyway <laughs> and this purple is absolutely stunning okay so now i think i'm gonna go into blue moon and i'm gonna take that on a p louise what are you one one two and i'm gonna take that just in the outer area and into the crease i'm doing it this way around because i want to see how they blend together and if the shadows will build on top of each other usually I go darkest to lightest but I have been mixing it up a bit recently to be fair but yeah I just wanted to see how the shadows performed and this is layering beautifully and blending beautifully as well hmm. yeah this is looking good I'm not getting any fallout which I'm appreciating because I have done my base first today I have no idea why I just felt like it um, yeah this is performing beautifully okay so it's starting with the shimmers i'm going to go into violet sky um because i'm dying to see what that looks like on the eyes and i'm taking that on it's just a morphe flat brush doesn't have a name or number and i'm going to take that right am i going to take it right across i'm going to take this most of the way along not all the way it is so pretty no all the way i am going all the way with this because that is so pretty guys it definitely does have a shift which looks absolutely stunning i'm loving this I'm just going to go back in with a bit of Blue Moon and just to kind of blend that in and redefine the crease a little bit there. This is really nice. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Blue Moon. And I'm taking that on a Jessup 226 smudger. 
and I'm just going to bring that all the way along. I'm just going to connect it up to the upper lid there. Crikey, I lost my words. <laughs> and yet it's not really creating much fallout. It was the tiniest bit that kind of went away easily easily brushed away so I'm going to go into Enchanted and I'm going to take that on a Morphe pencil brush um, doesn't have a name or number and I'm just going to keep that reasonably close in um, just rub against the edge of the blue and again I'm going to connect that up to where the purple is on the top lid Okay, so I'm going to go into Ivy um, and I'm going to take that on a Lois Cosmetics little tiny brush and I'm going to take that right on the inner part of the lower lash line. I'm not pulling it down too far because I don't want to deepen this area below. So yeah, just keeping it right close to the lash line. So now for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going into Fairy. This looks beautiful. This looks like it's another shifty shades so we will find out oh sorry i'm taking that on a morphe m149 wow yeah it is it's kind of a white to pink shift i hope you can see it on camera yeah, beautiful. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that up and under the brow there. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to head off, finish my face, I will come back to show you the finished look and yeah, let you know what my first thoughts are on the Midnight Garden palette from Dreamhouse Cosmetics. So yes, if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I'm back with the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm going to quickly let you know what I used for the finishing touches. Um, so the liquid liner I used was the Elf Expert liquid liner, Jet Black. I do really, really love that. And the mascara is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I have mini. I'm loving this. Loving it. I haven't even had to put falsies on. So yes. Um, the In My Waterline is the Made by Mitchell... All smudge, no budge liner in the shade Wonderful World. And then for my lips, I use the P. Louise lip pencil in the shade Privacy and the P. Louise lipstick in the shade Heights. So, first impressions. Like I've already said, love the packaging. It's beautiful. The eyeshadows themselves, I have no complaints. The mattes 
built up on top of each other well they built up well they built up well is that the same thing and uh, blended themselves out beautifully blended together beautifully um the shimmers that i used are stunning um the shifty one on my lid it's beautiful and then this fairy is shifty as well i have that as you know on my inner corner brow bone um yeah i i love this i cannot wait for the brand to bring out more products i will definitely be trying them and this yeah i highly recommend it and guys for black friday there is a sale you can get 50 percent off of this palette on the website with the code bf50 i'll pop that on the screen um that is going to be running until the 29th of november so if you like the look of this and you're wanting to pick it up you can get it for 50% off over the next couple of days i believe so yes that is about it from me let me know what you guys think in the comment section below is this a brand you've heard of the one you want to try let's have a chat um so thank you so much for watching if you're new around here and you like what you see you want to see some more indie brands represented um because that's where my heart lies then please do hit the subscribe button and come and join my beautiful chameleon family so yeah thank you for watching i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.